Hey guys, girls, how's it going? I hope you guys are on a great week. So I'm back again with another game news related video day today. Guys, uh, this one is actually going to be scale bound related. So on February the 18th um, on Nintendo Insider, there was a report by an Alex Seedhouse that speculated that scale bound could be resurrected as a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Now, this news got me very, very excited because scale bound was one of the games on the Xbox One, one of the exclusives that I was really looking forward to and I considered it something new, something unique and I actually thought it might potentially be a console seller. Um, so when Microsoft Studios back in January 2017 announced that Scalebound was cancelled and that they had ended production on it, I was incredibly disappointed. I was actually a little bit disappointed and a little bit angry at Microsoft Studios because I really felt that they lacked... Um, unique and interesting and new and different and innovative exclusives and I thought that you know cancelling a scale ban was a massive massive mistake I still stand by that I still think it was a huge mistake for Microsoft to cancel it obviously they had their reasons whether it was financial whether it was creative differences who knows uh, we'll never know but definitely I thought it was a mistake and I still think that Microsoft lack the exclusive titles that they need um, of course they have the most powerful console out there absolutely they do the, without a question without a doubt um, the Xbox One X is the most powerful console out there but I don't think there's enough to actually play on it there aren't enough exclusives to make you want to purchase that very powerful console and I still think that way um, so yeah I was disappointed when Scalebound was cancelled so this news that actually Nintendo might be reviving the game and that this might become a Nintendo exclusive is good news for me I was very interested in this game and I was super interested to see where it was going to go of course this is based on Alex Alex's sources in Nintendo so he is saying he, he trusts his sources uh, that have reported this to him and there have been a couple of hints out there as well that there might be something to this news um, because Game Informer senior editor Imran Khan uh, basically hinted that Nintendo have a game that's thought to be dead that they are reviving and he hinted at this on Kind of Funny Games uh, beginning of um, February so of course he might have a different game in mind, it might be something completely different but it's very coincidental the timing and I think um, maybe it stands a good stead that it could be Scalebound. Now of course Scalebound is developed by Platinum Games and it has creator Hideki Kamiya um, uh, leading the helm or was leading the helm so Platinum Games have a very good history with Nintendo they have a very strong relationship and a very strong bond in fact Nintendo have actually helped and supported Platinum Games previously with reviving what were thought to be potentially dead series and helping them bring those to life. Um, Bayonetta was certainly one of them. The first Bayonetta came out across uh, multiple platforms and then, you know, other um, big publishers would not Put their financial backing behind producing a sequel nintendo stepped in and bayonetta 2 became an exclusive on the uh wii u and then of course um it also came both bayonetta 1 and bayonetta 2 came to the nintendo switch and did very well and of course we're going to have bayonetta 3 and also astral train uh which are going to be exclusives for the nintendo switch as well which are going to be coming so this news is not entirely uh, unrealistic or entirely out there there is definitely a precedent for nintendo stepping in and supporting platinum games and if it's true if Nintendo do actually announce that they have gained Scalebound as an exclusive title, I think it's a massive coup for Nintendo. I think it's a very good gain for them. And I think, you know, a lot of people probably will support the game and will buy it. I myself definitely uh, will buy it if it comes on the Nintendo Switch. Now, obviously, the game might have to be redeveloped for that console specifically. They'll have to look at how to incorporate some of the Nintendo Switch's features. Um, I love the idea of it being portable, especially because um, Scalebound was going to be both a single player and a multiplayer game. And I think that would be really, really cool. All the gameplay 
you know stuff that we saw looked great um but yeah obviously it'll have to be scaled back a little bit um in terms of resolution and and uh, power and that kind of thing because the nintendo switch you know it isn't as powerful a console as the xbox one x as the playstation 4 pro um or the ps4 or the xbox one of course it's not but it's still a very good console in its own right um but i think you know for nintendo it's not so much about the power it's more about the games and what games they offer and they always uh, try to offer exclusive titles on their console and they do a very good job of that um, of having that exclusivity and if they do gain scale bound um, it'll be a really good um, you know gain for them and it'll make me very happy because I definitely want to play this game and I'm very interested in in scale bound and I'm hoping this news is actually true it is a rumor at the moment nothing's been confirmed officially by nintendo but i thought it was some very exciting news that i wanted to share with you guys and i wanted to let you know what i thought and also get your opinions on it so scalebound coming to the nintendo switch what are your thoughts on it let me know in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did of course hit the like button as always to show your support please subscribe please share all that good stuff Anyway, hope you guys have a great week. Take care, and as always, happy gaming. Bye, guys.